Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a fun video today on kind of a throwback thing that I've been, I've been thinking about doing a video on. It's been sitting on my board because I, I came across this again, which is one of the things that actually got me into programming that when I came across this old game, which I thought if you've never seen this, or maybe if you have some nostalgia here, but it, it's a really interesting thing. And I think it's still a good programming tool, like a, a teaching tool today, especially for those of you that are like into retro games and, and, and remember the old Apogee software and shareware and all that. Gosh, that brings me back such good memories of dialing up BBS systems and downloading shareware and you know all of that stuff. But what I wanna talk about is a, a little game called ZZT, that's right, ZZT. You can check out, here's a, you can check it out here. Maybe you get a screenshot here. You can see ZZT in all of its glory here and you can actually download it and play it. I think you can play it on like DOSBox and stuff. But <clears throat> this is an interesting game, so ZZT. It was made by, was it, is it G Tim Sweeney, I believe. From, I think it's Apogee Software, and it was a shareware game. Like I think it's freeware actually, or that maybe you could buy a license or, or something like that. I think I may have bought a license, but I played this as a kid, and it, it really sort of got me into programming. You know, I mean, I had various things that came together, but it was so. It's essentially you're this little ASCII character guy, and you walk around, and there's some missions that come with the game, and it's all ASCII, right? Which is I, I love ASCII art. I've always been a big fan. <clears throat> And you go around and you have to like solve some puzzles and, and stuff. Like the game itself is fun, the basic games that come with it. But what was really, really fun about ZZT, what I thought was pretty awesome about it, was that you could create your own game. But not only could you create your own game, but it had this, this really simple object-oriented programming language built into it. And some people have built some really like awesome games using this very limited programming environment. But it's, it's nice because it's simple, right? And it's object-oriented, and it's sort of like a visualization of objects. So if you've had trouble grasping object-oriented programming, this can kind of help. You know, it's, it's a little bit of a different paradigm. It's, it's not quite the same thing as in C-sharp or Java or C++. But it's actually a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun as a kid designing levels and figuring out how to program and you could teach yourself this ZZT programming language really quickly because there, there's not a lot to it. I don't think there's even if conditions. I think there's like a response to touches and you can make your guy shoot and you can do all these things. It's really a domain specific language a DSL but I think it's really interesting I'd love to see like a newer version of ZZT I know there's there's a, a program called Megazooks and there's been like ZZT2 and expansions and stuff it would be kind of interesting to see a modern day online version of ZZT that would be be kind of fun but it, it's got that retro feel it's a throwback right it is it's a big part of my history you know as, as a kid I remember just spending so many hours you know I remember one time a buddy of mine coming over and we bought like a, a Pepsi cube <laughs> and we stayed up all night drinking caffeinated Pepsi cube just trying to make our ZZT level and it was it was just so much fun you know exploring in, in having that interactivity you know something that's that's interactive that like really gives you that's creative right but teaches you a concept like programming so anyway I thought I would do a quick video just just talking about ZZT because it's been such a fun thing for me. So check it out if you if you want to check out ZZT and you know and, and and let me know what you think. If you if you've actually played this, if you're a fan of ZZT, you know right now if you are, you're like oh my god, I can't believe he's talking about ZZT. And I know you're going to comment whether I tell you or not, but. Uh, I, I think it'd be it'd be cool to hear from from you. And uh, if you've got you know kind of nostalgia type of programming games or something like that, I'd be curious to hear about that too. But yeah, ZZT, I, I definitely encourage you to check it out if you haven't. It's uh, it's old, <laughs> but it's fun. It's it's cool. You know, it's 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 definitely something that. Uh, that uh, that would be fun to talk about here. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Just uh, just ZZT, and I, I may actually download it and play it again because it was it was so much fun, so much fun to do that. So, anyway, thought I'd just share that with you. Uh, if you if you like these videos, if you would like to hear about more old school programming games, I don't know how many there are, but uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.